Hello everyone, we're here to talk about uh, today's topic which is a deferred action checklist. These are supporting documents that you may want to consider submitting along with your deferred action application. This video is brought to you by immigration attorney Theodore Huang. Uh, you can contact us at 626-771-1078 and our web address is www.gofianceivisa.com. Okay, but before we get into the supporting documents, we do need to address the requirements. First is that the applicant has to have come to the U.S. under the age 16. Second, that the person continuously resided in the USA for at least five years since June 15, 2012, and also that the person was here on that date. Next, we need to show that the applicant was either in school, graduated, received a GED, or honorably discharged from the Armed Forces or Coast Guard. We also need to show that the applicant was not convicted of a felony, significant misdemeanor, multiple misdemeanors, and not a threat to national security or public safety. Lastly, we need to show that the applicant is not above age 30. Okay, so those are the requirements to show eligibility for deferred action. Let's get on to the checklist. To prove identity, an applicant can consider submitting the following. His or her passport, a government photo identification document, birth certificate, visa stamp, or a national identification document that has a photo. The following documents can be submitted to show that you arrived in the USA before age 16. Again, birth certificate, the I-94 card which shows the date of arrival into the US, visa stamp, and travel tickets showing date of arrival. The following documents can be submitted to show residence in the USA for a period of at least five years before June 15, 2012. Lease, rental agreements, security deposit, medical records, school records, proof of car purchase and insurance, credit card statements, utility bills, and bank statements and records. Proving eligibility for deferred action also requires showing that the applicant was actually present in the United States on June 15, 2012, and that can be proved by providing the same types of documents that we just went over. And lastly, applicants need to provide supporting documentation to prove the school requirement. And this can be in the form of transcripts, a letter from the school, copy of the diploma or GED, form DD-214 showing honorable discharge, and lastly, military records. An important word of caution, if you have ever been arrested, convicted, or charged of an offense, you definitely should speak with an immigration attorney to talk about how those consequences could affect your deferred action application. Well, that concludes our review of supporting documentation that you can include along with your deferred action application. It's by no means exhaustive, so if you have any additional questions about any possible supporting documents that you want to include, please give us a call at 626-771-1078.